In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the comments feature of WordPress and see what it can do for you, both on a personal site and on a city site like Wordville. Right now, we're looking at a news post about the classic rock concert in the park. And here at the bottom is a form to leave a comment. Now, I'm currently logged in, so it knows who I am, and to a certain extent, it trusts me. So let's post a comment. And there it is. It immediately posted it because it knows who I am. Let's take a look at what we have available here. It shows us a little picture, a gravatar, the name of the person, the date it was commented. There's an edit link because we're logged in. This lets me edit this comment. And then there's the comment itself. There's also a reply button. It's possible to reply to specific comments so that you can sort of create a conversation. In this case, a city planner could reply to that person. And when they reply, the commenter should get an email with the comment in it. Now let's take a look at what this would look like if we were not logged in. I'm going to open a private window so that it doesn't know that I'm logged in. And we'll click on that same post. And you can see there's one comment. And now when we want to comment, it wants a name, email, and website as well. And now I can post the comment. Now there's something important to point out here. It says your comment is awaiting moderation. I can see it because I posted it, but no one else can see that comment. So now let's go back to the admin area and see what we can do to manage these comments. At the top here, we can edit this post. And then if we scroll down some, you can see the comments associated with this post. The white one is approved, the yellow one is not approved. And right here I could approve, reply, quick edit, edit, spam, or trash. So right here I'm going to reply to this one. And it says it's in reply to Topher. Now rather than deal with this unmoderated one here, I want to show you some other places we can do that. I want to draw your attention to the WP admin bar at the top. There's a little chat bubble here with a 1. That means that we have one comment awaiting moderation. And in the left bar, there's comments with a 1, which means the same thing, that there's one waiting in moderation. If you click on either one of those, you go to the comments page. Now this shows all the comments for the entire site. So this one that says the new project looks great is not related to the concert post. But in here, you could multi-select a whole bunch of them and approve them all at the same time. Let's take a look at some of our other options. Here we can see who wrote it and what their IP address is. The same options that you saw before. And then in response to, it tells us which post this came from. The little gray and blue bubble shows how many comments there are and the red shows us how many comments there are that need to be approved, and then the date of when it was submitted. Now there are some extra special features in here that aren't readily apparent. For example, if you click on an IP address, it will sort by that IP address, and you'll see all the posts that came from there. Most comments are going to have a different IP address than all of the others, unless you get one person who comments a lot from the same place. And that person might be a really big fan, or they might be a spammer. The spam option here simply moves it to a folder. WordPress itself does not know about spam per se. So when you put it in that folder, it doesn't know that that's spam. But there are plugins like Akismet, which can review that folder and learn about spam and help you in the future. We'll look at that in another video. So let's approve this post right here. And now it's done, just like that. So if we come back to our secure window and reload, you'll see that this one is no longer in moderation, and that the reply to the first one is indented a little bit. So we could do another reply to this one, or we could reply to the reply. And it can get up to five levels deep in comments. 
This can be very useful in a community where people might end up having discussions about news items or events or things like that. If we click reply right here on the front end, it opens up a comment box just like the other one. And if you choose to change your mind, you can simply cancel reply. In classic WordPress form, there are many, many plugins to extend WordPress comments. You can change the way they look, the way they act, how moderation is done, how spam gets handled, all of that stuff. And we'll take a look at that when we get to the plugin section. But I wanted you to know that there are a great many options available. Now, comments can be a two edged sword. They can be some of the greatest drivers of traffic on your website. People love to leave comments. But sometimes they're abused, and some people troll in the comments and abuse other readers. So like any powerful tool, you need to keep a close eye on your comments. Don't just turn them on and walk away. Somebody's going to have a field day in there doing things they shouldn't. So keep an eye on your comments. Spam when needed. Trash when needed. And later we'll show you how to ban specific IP addresses so that if you get somebody who's causing a lot of trouble, you can keep them out altogether. So think carefully about your comments. Are they the right thing for you? Or are they not? They can be wonderful, but they can be terrible, and you need to decide for your own site.